New tonight, a West Hartford High School is changing its name from the Indians to the Lions. The latest in a trend in the state to move away from schools named after Native Americans. Right now, more than 20 schools in Connecticut have nicknames that some say are offensive. Schools like the Guilford Indians, the North Haven Indians, the Glastonbury Tomahawks, and the Torrington Red Raiders. News H. Josh Scheinblum spoke to some parents at a game in Naugatuck tonight. That game was between the Naugatuck Greyhounds and the Watertown Indians. He joins us live in Naugatuck with more. Josh. Darren, it's not just in West Hartford where people are talking about that name change. They were talking about it earlier today here in Naugatuck where the high school football team here took on another football program from Watertown. They call themselves the Indians. For 50 years, Northwest Catholic High School has been known by their mascot as the Indians. But Thursday, the name was officially changed to the Lions. On the school's website, it explains the reason for the move was because, quote, during the last two to three years, as momentum has grown among groups of students, school leaders, and alumni who believe that the continued use of a Native American name was both insensitive and not representative of Northwest Catholic's core values, end quote. Before the reform, Northwest was far from alone in their use of the word Indian. In fact, the American Indian Cultural Support Organization lists 23 schools in Connecticut that use what they call racial mascots. Watertown High School is among those on the list, and many who cheer on the school have an opinion about the decision made at Northwest Catholic. We're not discriminating against anybody. That's just been the logo for the Watertown High School for eons. People from Watertown have mixed opinions. If they choose to change it, you know, uh, then you know what? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay for it with change, yes. There was also debates on how to change it and something like that, but, you know, Watertown Indian has been around forever. Some students agree, saying their so-called Indian mascot isn't culturally insensitive at all. For them, the use of the name is a source of pride and community. And what would you say to people who, who do say, you know what, that name, it, it bothers me? You know, personal opinion is personal opinion. I can't really change that, but... From where I, from my point of view, I would tell them that you know, as a high school student, and if Indians is my type of thing, that I have to represent what I believe in. We asked officials with the Mashantucket Pequot Tribal Nation about Northwest Catholic's decision, and received this statement from a spokesperson. It reads, "We appreciate that Northwest Catholic dealt with this sensitive issue, especially being that the former mascot name has been found to be offensive to certain individuals." For now, we're live in Naugatuck, Josh Shingleum. News 8.